so tiny. So tiny! Hey there, everyone! This is Outcounter! Starting a new hack, as you can kind of guess for yourself. It's a ROM hack of Mario 3 called Mario Adventure. No possessive. Um... Uh, apparently this is more or less a TSRPR of Mario 3 hacks, in that it's both super technologically advanced, as well as featuring some pretty darn gosh level design, although for that we're gonna see for ourselves, because I don't know. Uh, this is my first time doing an LP of an NES game. Now, I'm used for my NES needs to use FCUX, no, FCU Ultra X, basically, but, um, I don't like, the window's pretty small, so we probably have the, 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 the like, Psycho Luigi effect of the image quality of not being super good until someone can help me out with this and, um, maybe find another emulator or something. I don't know, I don't know that I can change the, the so size of the screen. And it looks like here we can choose our world and which each world is gonna open up a door so we can go to question mark land. Well, it's nice here to give me choice, but me being me, I'm gonna be doing these worlds in order. Oh, Koopa Plains? Well, yeah, we got keys down there. We got big old hills. I can not click on the red hill. Let's go. Oh yeah, I got a time and money and time. Let's just go. Start this. It's winter! I thought it was grassland town. I guess it's winter town. Whoa! It's slippery? It is? I don't know. Mario... Th <laughs> it's flying all over the place. Mario 3 physics is the most insane physics ever. Especially if you're used to Mario, like... Oh man, chomp chomp. Whoa man, Goomba. Especially if you're used to Super Mario World. Mario 3, he, like, momentum, he has momentum coming out of his freaking face. And suddenly, it's not winter anymore, it's summertime! That... Okay, ah! Oh yeah, I can't throw upwards. I can't throw upwards, Tom. Well, the shall despawn, so it the... Well, I won't complain, considering now suddenly, hey, I can't actually control myself, but... Uh, okay? <laughs> Can I... I can't pick up the Mario 2 grass that is animating. That guy doesn't care that I'm above him, and that guy doesn't care about me, period. Do I have a life counter anywhere? It doesn't actually look like it. And suddenly it's raining! Because you know why... <laughs> why the heck not? Wow! That's amazing! Um... Okay, so, yay, uh, and yeah, so enemies are modifying a reaction that, 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 that plant doesn't care if I go above him. Okay, those break, star blocks break, I now know that, I know that now, happy Goomba jumping man, red guy, sir. How you, whoa, okay, you're excited about Fruit Loops, and you know, I can understand that. I too would be excited about Fruit Loops if you, I was flying around all over the place. Please leave me alone, Mr. Man. Ah, and your little micro babies. Ugh, your spores, basically. Well, you know, just chill out down there and... Oh, you can't jump off of vines, apparently. I got my timer, so I need what? Hmm, hmm, hmm! I got a 50! Oh, okay, because I don't have any lives, instead that gave me 50 coins. Got it. What will I... So I guess there's gonna be a store at some point or something. And I really want to go up there. So wait, that's actually very clever because of the whole rain thing. When you've got rain, you can tell where invisible blocks are. That's what I thought. I just froze the world in its entirety. Except for Shy Guy. Man! Whoa, your revolving face is kind of revolting me. Okay, so I seem to be in a bonus place that's filled with water and juice. Everyone is happy! Everyone's having a good time! Oh, look at that. They're musical box that don't actually musical me up. They're just there to be friendly. Well, it's kind of too bad because of the rain, everything is... blue. <laughs> it's not It's not a very uh, palette-friendly area. I don't know where I'm safe from you guys. Like, I know how you work... How the fake you in Super Mario World work, but the real ones, I forget. There's clouds. Boom, boom! The hell are you doing in Not Fortress? 
What the hell am I doing in doing bad jumps? Let's just progress with the level instead. See, you see, you see? You see? You see, Boom Boom? You are... <laughs> I am not used to Mario 3's, uh... Uh... Controls. Uh... And there's a mushroom. I always love my own. Yeah, no, I use Mario 3's control, so I'm gonna have a little bit of, like, relearning to do here. A little bit of rehabituation. And the hill's been replaced with a kite, which I can return in. Huh. Can I start select? Guess not. Okay, but you can return a level, which you can't do in the original game. It's good to know. Let's zoom in to out of here. Round. Oh man, you're so hard to see. Now I got gotcha. you. Now I'm, I'm relearning. Like it's kind of weird. Like Mario 3 physics and whatnot. Like even Mario All Star 3, the physics aren't the same. Hey, a new level. That's incredible. I got fire, fire flower that throws forward for some reason. That's weird. Also, I got a little. Ah! By pressing select, I can change between both. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. Oh jeez, I forgot how totally impossible no block physics are in this game. But, you know, I got an infinite life, so I can try as much as I can. So I can press select to go... Okay, wow, that's insane! Ins I swear, these things. Okay, again, it's just something I'm gonna have to relearn. It's okay, there's no pressure. There's no lives, so there's no pressure. I just need to... So yeah, the big difference with Mario World is you can't just hold the button. You need to repress it at each time that you want to bounce. So... Yeah, see? Because Mario World, essentially what happens is that it made me interact with these lazily. Here I'm just holding the button because, you know, I expect that to just kind of make me sore every time. But no! That won't work in this game. You need timing. Ah! Which I don't have. But it's kind of funny. Because, uh, <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Okay, so... Uh, 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 well, technically I screwed it up. But I made it through... And then suddenly you jump like a giant man, and suddenly I do stupid things. But okay, okay, let's try and not die so I don't have to restart the... I'm afraid of plants now, man. Plants are... have become scary knowing that they don't care about rites of passage! That spiny is upside down. Spi Except it's not a spiny, it's a shy guy. Spinies are not shy guys, I am not racist, I swear. I, I understand that culturally they are very different and unique. And I got a star. Why do I got a star? Why do I run like a crazy man now? Suddenly I don't know. Let's just run! And go! And dash our hopes and dreams! And kill this guy. Wow, the star lasts forever! Compared to the old game. A shoe! Whoa! Caribou shoe! <laughs> I got a shoe! Boom boom! I got shoes going out of my face! Except I'm wearing it on my body, not on my face. I'm not a crook or a criminal or anything of the sort. Please do not misunderstand what I'm trying to say here. It's a house. You can go inside. And I still got a shoe! <laughs> Everyone's a winner! Heck. Oh. Everyone's a winner, but it costs us some moolah. I see how this works now. This is Capitode. So if I press B, I can go in my menu. Very well. I can go in a fortress. Can I, like, get rid of my sock if I don't want it? I don't know, maybe? It's like, like, can you climb walls and whatnot with all the- ah, ah, ah! Help, help, help! Oh my god, okay, um... Thwomp, you have a lot of acne on your face. You probably want to do something about it because it grosses me out. So, okay, so uh, this is exactly what I want to say to people with acne. Man, visible booze, that's... Ah! <laughs> Man! A little, like, po 
potions or something. As I just kind of drop in the lava for no reason. Alright, I don't have my excess power up anymore, so... Just gonna have to be careful. So yeah, this game is clearly a tiny bit, little bit harder than uh, the original game. Like, me getting reacquainted with the controls as and, you know, memento... and mem mementoriums aside. Ah! There's spikes there. I probably want to shove those in my face. Hey! We got raccoon tail on my bottom! Mario practicing the ancient art of uh, foreclosures. That is like it doesn't look like it, but this is amazing animation background whatever for an NES era game. Okay, okay, Roto Disc, you roll up my lives. So uh, this is my poetry for the Roto Disc. Always my favorite part of every video game in the world. Whoa, that's lava. It's not like red water as we see here. I gotta make this. Also, I need to remember, yeah, I need to tap that button. Tap, tap, if I want to live. Tap, tap. Hey there, Thwomp. You're so slow. You're like a big gold Cheerio. Well known for being... That ghost does not care for me moving around on the top side, so I'm just gonna kill Boom Boom. So I guess what? We always have to kill Boom Boom at the end? That's kind of... That seems a bit much. Like, no, it seems like a bit of an overkill. I don't know how I feel about just killing Boom Boom all the time everywhere. Also, I have no idea what's going on with this map. It goes in circles, and at the end, I get to the thing. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. I can return in the Toad House, which is... So, for until the next time I get to that Toad House, I need to accumulate up to... Um, 300 coins. Alright. Alright, I think this is enough to get acquainted with this. This is Cow relearning to play Mario 3 and Mario Adventure! And join me next time when we keep on scouring Captain World 1 here, I guess. Ah, I just noticed, it's pretty neat, it's a 2D map, except with a lot of levels that are just so happen to be in the sky, even though they're not really sky worlds. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. I guess, you know, depending on your definition of funny. I'm assuming if you're watching this here, definition of funny isn't that, that, you know, um, um, I'll shut up now. <laughs>